The last internal load for you to look at is hot water. And uh, this is a little bit more involved because, uh, because it's less involved. Energy Plus has a very, very complex way of uh, modeling hot water systems and actually all water systems. And it can go right down to the pipe that is delivering the water. In fact, what's complicated about it is that you actually need to model all the pipes. So I've got here a workaround that will allow us to model the hot water without modeling the hot water. And what it is, is that we're going to kind of artificially um, model the hot water system based on the spreadsheet that you already filled out for your initial energy model. And if you look at the, um, the model inputs calculator that is on the website, on our drive folder, you can see uh, I've got this kind of, it's kind of like a handy tips, um, lots of different resources to estimate uh, uh, different inputs for your energy model. If you go down to the bottom here, you can see the domestic hot water energy tab. And this should look familiar. So we all, you all filled in um, all the stuff already uh, in some, with some basis um, or not in your initial energy model. And you estimated the flow rate and the um, number of users and uses per year, et cetera, et cetera. Well, and this returned an annual energy use, which you reported in your energy model. Well, I've extended this over here to the right now, and what I'd like you to do is to use this number and to backwards engineer it in order to get Energy Plus to understand it. Let me explain what I mean by that. The Energy Plus, let me uh, show you what Energy Plus has here for hot water. Energy Plus for hot water, this is very similar to the people, lights, and equipment, um, where you have a name, a zone it's attached to, a schedule name, a calculation method, whether it's total wattage or watts per square meter or watts per person, and then uh, latent heat for hot water, and the fraction that's lost. So in the case of hot water, a lot of it goes down the drain. A lot of the heat goes down the drain. So a lot of this is going to be lost anyway. Usually about 7%, 70% is a good estimate for um, things like sinks and showers. For cooking, it's a little bit less than that because a lot of that hot water is actually um, contained in the zone. But um, say if you're, if you're heating hot water, like for pasta or tea or something like that. Um, so here's the challenge, that energy is power times time. We've got time here represented by the school domestic hot water schedule. And so what we need to do is back out what the power should be based on your energy estimate in Excel. So here's how to do this. Uh, I'm going to move this over. I'm going to try to move this over so we can see both screens at the same time. And I'm going to go back up to schedule and look at that school domestic hot water schedule. I'm going to scroll over to my school domestic hot water schedule. Here it is. And you'll notice that it's got some uh, specificity here. Almost every hour has a different fraction associated with it. And what I'd like you to do is to input in this spreadsheet here what your what that fractional schedule is. This is a good test of your understanding of the schedule as well. So for instance, this says that through D December 31st, so from January 1st to December 31st for weekdays, um, from midnight to 7 a.m., the fraction should be 0 0.05. So I've got 0 0.05, and it's going till 7 a.m. And then at 8 a.m., it changes to 0 .0, point, oh, sorry, 0 0.1. At 9 a.m., it changes to 0.34. At 10 a.m., to 0 0.6, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So you go and you, you uh, input all of those fractional schedules for the weekday. 
Then, to make this even more complex, there is a weekend schedule. The weekend schedule, though, thankfully, is not complex. It just says 3% of the hot water is used. So over here in our Saturday schedule, we input 3% all the way down from midnight to midnight. And in our Sunday schedule, we also input 0 0.03 all the way up and down. So what this does is give us the total annual time uh, when that power is being used. And if we know the average time, we can back out the average power, which is what you see right here. Basically, this formula is taking the average annual or the, the annual energy use that you calculated here and dividing by all of the hours of the year averaged by those um, averages for those fractional averages for the weekdays and weekends. So what that means is that once we've calculated that, we've got an average power. And this, this right here, the energy per year, is just a check to see that, we're, um, that, that it's calculated correctly. And you can see it's just slightly off. We're about 1,000 watt hours off, but that's good enough for this, for sure. So that 658 average watts is then what I would input into my hot water equipment wattage design level. I would call that uh, 658, just like that. Now, as you do this, make sure that you're um, in fact, for all of these inputs, make sure that your um, analysis zone that you're modeling in Energy Plus is the same as the, en the analysis zone that you're modeling here. So if you've got a portion of it, say you're, you've estimated all of the domestic hot water use for the entire, say, uh, for the entire school, all of Worcester Hall, and I'm just modeling... Uh, what is it, like uh, 100 square meters of that, then I'm going to want to take the total uh, Worcester Hall uh, building it, um, square footage and, um, and have a fraction of it be um, for this water. So that would look something like uh, uh, domestic hot water, sorry, domestic hot water, um, area is 120,000 or 12,000 square meters and B plus area is 120 square meters then the uh, I'm move this over so I have a little bit more room here then and the domestic hot water area, um, or sorry, the domestic hot water estimate is that, then the energy plus estimate would be that divided by that times that cross multiplication. So, um, so a fraction of the total. Uh, and so this would be watt hours. So now this is actually what I would want to input into um, this is what I'd want to use here would be 12 uh, 3, 4, 4 which will then adjust all this down and you see you get 7 watts of average power rather than what I originally had which was 658 Thank you.